One single mining rig will earn 20 grand a year in passive income. Clearly I'm excited, clearly I'm tripling down. For Litecoin and Dogecoin, there's big miners and there's little miners. There's a lot of pros and cons, really, to both. While the little miners are cute, they're cheaper, they're much quieter, the big miners are the most profitable and they're the most efficient, by far. But <laughs> you better have somewhere to put them where you can deal with sounds like this. This isn't a perfect comparison. I've got the Ivy Link BMK1 Plus running, which is very loud. I also have the Antminer L7 obviously running, which is a very loud mining rig. And I have them angled in a way that they don't shoot over my car. I, you know, obviously I've got my 86 in here. I take it to the track, a lot of fun. Um, you know, I've been doing this long term. It's kept everything in my garage about 100 degrees most of the years. Haven't ran into any issues. It's not an ideal setup by any means. It gets the job done for now while we build out a 3.0 crypto mining farm. But yeah, I mean, you see, I, I shut the garage door and it gets a lot quieter. There's better ways to do it. This is just a quick example. And again, some real world data of like, <laughs> dude, this is loud. Okay, this, this ain't something for your bedroom. My name is Vosker on the Vosker One YouTube channel. This is Tails, and the cutest pup in the world. Today I'm gonna to show you exactly what I'm doing and how you can do it yourself if you want to. This is not some weird, you know, bragging video, buy my course, dude. It's, uh, this is what I'm doing. This is how you can do it too. And here are the real world numbers. All the good, all the bad. $1,515 a month. That's almost 20 grand a year, but is it worth it? You're on the Viscoin YouTube channel. I love mining, so that's the disclaimer. And we're gonna run through all the data. If you wanna get started, I'm not gonna cover the, the complete basics. I mean, you take this thing out of the box, you plug a power cable into it, you plug an ethernet, which is an internet cable into it, and then you log into it remotely, which is real easy. Paste an address and you're done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you're new to this, right? I totally understand, respect that. We've got a starter video on how to set up an ASIC miner, which is an application specific integrated circuit miner. It's a purpose built custom little computer. It's your little robotic employee. Everything you need to know to get started there, as well as how to set up electricity in your home to be mining safely and efficiently. So let's go ahead and refresh. Let's get the latest data. This thing's mining in a hundred degree garage right now. And, uh, you know, last hour did 9.4 giga hash a second, but the day averages are the best data. Okay, so looking at about the last 30 days or so, we can see 9 9.1, 9.4, 9.1, 9.8, 9.1, 9, 9.443. What you register on the pool is what you get paid out on. You use whatever mining pool you want, but I've switched a lot of my mining rigs over to DX pool. I've been really enjoying the experience. They have a link to support the channel. I've been getting high profitability. They have wallets built in, which is really what kind of prompted me to start using this. So when I didn't have a wallet for Kadena or Library or Handshake or Litecoin or Dogecoin or whatever, right? I can hold it in the pool until I set up either an exchange wallet or my own personal wallet. Not your keys, not your coins, remember that. But it's also hard to trade things when you're not on a cryptocurrency exchange. But alas, to the point. Litecoin trading at $110 right now, ranked 22 by coin market cap. Dogecoin ranked number 12, trading at almost 15 cents, 14, 15 cents right now. And this is what's crazy about Litecoin miners. You know, so I said that they like way back when, you know, we go back in time and this is me reviewing the Antminer L3 Plus, which was kind of like our first video to get kind of popular on YouTube, which was pretty cool and fun in retrospect. I was mining almost a Litecoin a day back then, which is freaking nuts. Um, I've been mining Litecoin for a long time and it was all about mining Litecoin. You just got these bonus Dogecoins and it was like, whatever. Um, Dogecoin really cool and fun. You always joke about putting your life savings in, into it. The irony is that you'd be just freaking loaded if you did that and waited around long enough. Don't ever disrespect the power of a meme coin. I was humbled by Dogecoin, okay? I don't need you to be humbled by it too. Learn from my mistakes and profit. That's kind of the point of the Bosscoin YouTube channel. 
So, oh, also a little disclaimer. We did collaborate with Gold Shell last year to bring a mini Doge miner to market. It's a mini script miner. Mine's Litecoin, Dogecoin, and so forth. Um, so some people may not take us, you know, think we're shilling that or whatever else. I don't, I, don't, I don't care what you buy. It's not even what we're talking about today. We're talking about the Bitmain Antminer L7, which to be honest, is the mini Doge's nightmare. You can also buy this miner direct from Bitmain, but you may notice a discrepancy in the prices. And maybe you're like, oh yeah, I'm in. Why the hell would I pay more? Okay, so just understand, depending where you are, you're gonna pay tariffs and you actually may pay more or about the same and wait a similar time. I'm not pushing one or the other. Just make sure you understand the full picture. It's really kind of that simple. But how much like is this thing really earning, right? So it's supposed to be pulling about $17,000 a year or $48 a day or $1,440 or really $1,450 a month. That's at a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electric rate, burning about $250 of electric per month or almost $3,000 per year. Breaking down my real world profitability here, right? So this is my day by day earning chart for Litecoin. You see it has been trending down. I was earning 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.14, whatever. Then I had some lows, 0 0.126, 0 0.138, 0 0.131, and so forth. Taking my handy dandy calculator and running the numbers, I earned about 4.35 Litecoin in the last 30 days, earning me 479 or really $480 in Litecoin. Okay, and you're like, dude, <laughs> you shill. You liar, you idiot in your mom's basement again, are you, Vosk? Well, okay, look, I hate my mom. I don't live in her basement, okay? So don't you ever come at me with that heat again. Um, you know, we joke about it, but hey, man, remember, cut toxic people out of your life, period. I'm not going on a rant today. I'm going to leave that one. No rants today. Getting back on topic. Doge, profitability day by day. We hit a high here, 246 Doge, or Dogecoin's mind, that particular day this as well has been trending slightly downwards however compiling the number of doge i've mined i've earned about 7050 doge which translates to about 1034 dollars recently elon has begun pumping dogecoin yet again he will be pumping dogecoin in the future as well long term whether you realize doge has like the worst dev team in the history of cryptocurrencies the most embarrassing funny founder in the history of cryptocurrencies and literally just like no use case and just a whole lot of nothing going on and yet it still pumps and it pumps a lot and it's gonna pump again and it's gonna hit one dollar yeah it's gonna hit a new all-time high it's not financial advice I obviously don't know everything for sure but if History has taught me anything that eventually all the half-decent cryptos hit new all-time highs. And guess what? I'm going to be there. I'm going to be stacking up some of my doggy coins until then. I kind of think that Litecoin is useless in this era, yet it does decent. And it is you. It is enjoyable from like a user experience to like actually use the coin. They've been like trying to like push Mimblewimble and other stuff. I mean, it's a totally useless coin that's basically grandfathered in, but I'm, I'm not hating. Like, like it's fine. Like, I, I don't hate Litecoin. I get a lot of flack sometimes, you know, making videos. I'm like, dude, I don't love your coin. Like, oh, how dare you? And I'm like, shut up, man. What the hell does your coin do? And they're like, what does your coin do, Voss coin? I'm like, it's a YouTube channel, dude. <laughs> there I did. I ran, I, I, went on, I went on a tangent. I ruined the video yet again. Uh, See, so log into the thing. <laughs> you get the IP address from your router, use an IP scanner, all that stuff's easy peasy. It's root root to get inside of here. See the runtime here, uptime of about nine days, right? And uh, this really just because I had a power flicker, um, it's been rock solid. Performance is very good. It's doing everything that it's supposed to do. Um, you know, it's running in a hot environment, 100 degrees. It is not cool by any means. Obviously, there are hotter environments, whatever else. Um, but yeah, it's sweet, it's easy, it's simple. You know, I just punch my pull address in there, punch my backup uh, pull address, and then I punch in my backup backup. And you know, I use my username dot worker name, and my password's optional. But just one, two, three pools are just none of them really use passwords anymore. Um, if you don't know that, but passwords used to be a thing. And if you mess that up, oh my gosh, you know. 
You go to bed thinking you're making sweet passive income with your miners just to wake up to find out that you're a loser. You let your family down and all you did was burn electric all night. You didn't earn any crypto. So let's break down the numbers, right? So the Bitmain Antminer L7 in in 2022 is earning $1,515 a month or about, look at look at, the, look at this deluxe, should I make this an NFT? Is that deluxe artwork? Mm-hmm, I think so. Sold. 18, I, I, I'm, I, I, I did it. I, I, a guy was yelling at me in the comments yesterday. He's like, dude, stop ranting. And I'm like, dude, I can't stop ranting. It's, I, I, I'm a, I got screws loose or something, as they used to say. $18,180 a year. Keep in mind, right, our projected electric cost at $0.10 cent per kilowatt hour, which is, is kind of starting to be on the cheaper side as everything in the world just continues to go up, 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 up in price, will put us at about three grand a year in electric consumed. So we can just, you know, <laughs> grab this and be like, um, see you later. <sighs> Oh, um, my, my handwriting is terrible, even digitally. So that brings us down to 15, 180 a year. Once you run it a second year, you're gonna lose another 3,000, right? Obviously. So if things didn't change much in the next two years, which, you know, again, uh, crash course in crypto, things are gonna change. We're probably gonna go down and then we're gonna go up and then we're gonna go way down and then we're gonna go ballistic up. That's what crypto does. I don't know what else to tell you. It's cyclical. Um, you know, you, you think we're just gonna keep pumping forever. Um, just remember to appreciate the highs like this guy. Yep, look at him. Oh, no, that, that's, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to draw something there. Yep, there he is. Sold. But yeah, it's always the reoccurring question of, is this miner worth it? Should I buy it, right? I mean, look, you earn another almost 20 grand a year mining a coin that was the hottest coin over the last year dogecoin you know arguably one if not the one of of course and so there's a couple ways to go about this right you know you cash it all out pay off the miner and then everything you have is gold after that or oh god precious metal gross right uh what i but you know i mean golden right so let's say i put 20 grand into the miner and then i mine 22 grand of crypto my electric bill is two grand i sell all of it i pay my electric bill i pay the miner off then over the next year i mine another 20 grand i sell two grand for my electric bill and then i just pull 18 grand I could take that either in, in dirty dollars, which just reached an all-time high at inflation rate, so maybe think about that one twice, or I could be stacking up some BTCs, Bitcoin, or just keeping it in the Litecoin and Dogecoin that you're mining, that historically on average year over year continue to go up, at least Dogecoin and Bitcoin do. However, in Litecoin's defense, they did sneak out an all-time high over the last year, really just barely. Uh, but again, hey, you know, again, technically, on average, it's still going up, uh, you know, every year. I've used a lot of Bitmain ASIC miners. They are a terrible company from an ethics point of view, <laughs> without a doubt. They are the king of price gouging, but they do make a good machine. Bitmain ant miners, ASIC miners, historically, they're they're very good. They're very reliable. They look good. They work well. They have a very marketable name. Okay, and what that means, why that's important is that they're the easiest to resell, right? People are gonna take a Bitmain ant miner before they take a Canon, before they take a What's Miner that they couldn't even come up with the name. They said, What's Miner? And then they just kept the name, right? And then there's a lot of forgettable names that once they kind of aren't interesting anymore, they just fade away. Like for example, the Dragon Mint Miner or whatever the hell that thing was called. It's a very loud miner. You got to be prepared for that. You got to have a proper electric setup. This runs on, you know, 220 to 240 volt. It has a built-in power supply, which there's pros and cons of that. But this isn't just something you plug into a regular outlet in a U.S. household. It's not going to work. You're putting yourself and that miner at risk to being damaged. To make sure you understand that. The Bitmain Miner L7 was an entire debacle. They were supposed to ship in November and December and they didn't really start showing up until February and March. Um, you know, that's a huge issue. Early buyers of that did get in at a good price, but their money was sitting with Bitmain for quite a while and it was delivered late. And those months that it missed with mining, those coins on average were trading at higher prices. 
So you lost out on some mining profitability. Also, just the longer the timeline goes, right, getting it three months late, that allows three months more for the competition to make and design either a more efficient mining rig or just build more, right? Bitmain competes with Gold Shell and their LT series of script miners, as well as the Mini Doge miners. They just dropped the Mini Doge Pro, which is you know a, a better version of the Mini Doge, but still a small form factor. Those are really a lot of fun. They're more for hobbyists. If you're looking for maximum profitability, you're really looking at the Ant Miner L7. This is one of the most profitable mining rigs you can buy right now. It mines two very established coins. And basically, if you got the money, it's definitely one to look at and heavily consider. If you're looking to get into altcoin mining, basically mine coins other than Bitcoin, that historically have had some of the best returns, right? I'm not pushing this, that, or whatever, but you just run the numbers. You see that Bitcoin is slow and steady, and altcoin mining can be, if done in moderation, and you pick the right stuff, and it does decent, much more profitable. And I didn't release kind of string that sentence together well. And on that note, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm gonna check out. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I know this one probably sucked, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll try again, I'll make another video tomorrow. Pick it back up. If you liked the video at all, please smash the subscribe button. We're chasing a million subscribers. We got some ground to cover, but you know, gold play button one day and I'm joining the youth, the biggest video platform in the world now. Dropping some TikToks, you know, it's not really my thing. But, you know, I'm giving it a spin for fun. I'm trying to have fun with it. And that's really a thing with the channel. You know, we upload daily here, but I'm trying to get back to just having a little bit more fun. It's been like a big grind over the last year. There's been so much to cover, trying to do so much. Which is which is fun and interesting, but like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm basically just trying to have more fun. And hopefully I have more fun and the videos start getting better instead of just... Some, sometimes I feel almost like a little forced with content. It's like... I, I really want to cover this and I'm interested in it, but like I just I don't always feel like being on camera I'm not like some attention hole or something like it's I, I would love like, you know We all go and hang out, but like I don't, I don't need like, you know, just all the eyes on me, right? I, I just you know trying to mine some coins with the boys, you know, am I right? I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow Hopefully because again we upload daily